Disclaimer. This episode of Pokemon Red is not a full Let's Play series of the game. This was done as a practice to see if my style of gameplay and commentary worked with a JRPG. If you like this style, then I will do a full LP of the game sometime. If you don't and find any ideas for improvements, then I won't. In this case, I do not want feedback on improvements like improving the borders or aesthetics of the LP, the fact that I am not doing a bio on Pokemon, or even explaining about fascinating features that some Pokemon have. This is simply my own take and perspective on a Pokemon game, and an RPG in general, just to see if it will work for me and the audience. If a lot of you enjoy this style, then you can expect a full LP of the game soon. If not, then it will probably never happen. Thank you. Hello everyone, and welcome to this experimentation theme and jiggy thing of basically Pokemon Red version, just to see if this would work for an LP or not, given the fact that my style is completely different compared to everyone else, and I don't know if my sense of current commentary will work for it or not. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this game I played a lot in my childhood with a new game. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. Or in other words, Pokemon Professor, basically. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. I never would have guessed that. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself? I study Pokemon as a profession. Indeed you would. First, what is your name? Okay, so even though like I can just give it my own name, like I would call it something like Calham64, Given the fact that, you know, this is like, I've watched the am anime series as a kid, and I believe in that one his name was Ash. So I'm gonna go for that one, I don't see why not. Right, so your name is Ash. Indeed. Oh god, and this guy. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Bloody hell. Um, what is his name again? Okay, I believe, like, in the anime on that one as well, his name is Gary. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, good lord. That's right, I remember now. His name is Gary. Ash! Your very own Pokemon Legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Indeed we shall, and right off the back in that, we can see right here, if I click on A on this, I found this really cool actually. Ash is playing the SNES. Okay, it's time to go. I remember the fir for the first time in that when I basically saw that, I didn't know what a SNES was, so to me it was a very weird acronym to come across uh, when I was a kid and stuff like that. But of course, being a grown-up and now realising what it means, it's very interesting, I must say. Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh yeah, sure, so just believe everything the TV says, of course. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. I see, okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go over there at all, am I? I also like interacting with, like, some areas around, you know, some, like, RPGs and stuff like that. There's a movie on TV, four boys are walking on the railroad tracks. I better go too. Oh boy, though. I must say, I also like the soundtrack to the Pokemon games, but this is just where it all began. You know, I think this was in 1996 or so, because this is when it came out for the Game Boy and things like that, and honestly, I think this was a, must have been a very, very cool game to come out in that time of year. Hi Ash, Gary is out at Grandpa's lab. I see, but first of all, I want to read this book, because this looks interesting. It's a big map! This is useful! Wait, really? Oh yeah, I suppose, because I mean, that's basically a town map, basically, just to show you where everything is, isn't it? Ideal, like, if you want to know what's coming up ahead of, like, in the future and stuff like that, because I always liked that, like, in the Pokemon games as a kid, like, I could look at the map and I could look at some of the later levels and I'd be like, oh wow, that looks cool, a city, it would be cool going there, wouldn't it? Because I'm stuck in like, the pilot town and stuff like that. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via PC. <laughs> wow, 
That's amazing! And here we are in 2016, where the most recent Pokemon game, I believe, was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, <laughs> where things are far more technology advanced. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. Indeed. Okay, well, so that's where I came from, isn't it? So now I'm guessing I probably have to go into this lab if I could actually, because I'm playing this on the Game Boy Player, and the D-pad is not the best method to play it, I will say. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aide. I see, interesting. Okay, what about you? I study Pokemon, okay, yep, same thing. <laughs> Are you two clones or something? That's rather creepy. Professor Oak is on the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him high in high regard, sorry. Oh boy. But, um, he's not here, is he? Also, you must be my rival, are you? You're Gary, right? Yeah, you are Gary. Yo, Ash! Gramps isn't around. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I guess then I'll just venture off out into the wild. <laughs> because that's what every child does, right? <laughs> Let's just see this bit of grass and then venture out in it. Hey, wait! Don't go out! With like a Metal Gear Solid exclamation mark, apparently. Oh boy. It's unsafe. What Pokemon live in tall grass? You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Man, oh man, this brings back a lot of childhood memories. But I remember the like, like the first time I played this, I had no freaking idea what I was doing. Like, at all. I was just talking to these random people and I honestly put the game down and stuff like that. But I'll explain more about that later. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. I can tell. Gary? Let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Ash. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. <laughs> well, this is very awkward dialogue. They're inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left. But you can have one. Choose. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one too. <laughs> I always liked how Gary was basically the sort of spoilt and impatient kid, whereas me, I'm just the sort of mute character. Well, I suppose it would be, because, I mean, this is me, isn't it? The player like you're playing as is basically your own avatar, if you will. Okay, so let's see, who have we got? Charmander Lizard. Obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. I see. So, you want the fire Pokemon Charmander? Okay, so I'll admit, every time I've played Pokemon, and I don't know why, I always start with the fire types. I'm not saying I've ever used... I, I say, I'm not saying like I haven't used you know, a water or leaf type ever, it's just whenever like I play Pokemon in general, it's always a fire type I start with, because I mean, in silver version and stuff, I did start with... Like, damn it, I forgot what it was called, I think it was... It, yeah, it was like some sort of... Yeah, Totodile, that's it, Totodile, yeah. I started with him and he was really cool. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go for Charmander, because uh, this is the first one I started with when I played the game, so childhood, man. Let's see, why not? Charmander, there we go. Do you want to give it a nickname? No, I don't often tend to nickname my Pokemon, because I think the, um, the names they are given by default are creative enough. Better than what I could do, anyway. I don't know. I'll take this one, then. Okay, and that's... Squirtle! Great! So it has to be the water type so that my one is weak to it. Oh boy. I bet if I chose Squirtle, you would then go for um, Bulbasaur, wouldn't you? Oh boy. Now, I don't know why, but I'm going to show you this. And this is something that I thought as a kid, and believe me, it's crazy. So I don't know why on this bit, even though he turns around, I thought he literally stole a Pokeball. Like, for some reason, as a kid, I didn't pay attention, thinking, oh, he's got that bit as well, you know, he's got his own Pokemon. That I thought he literally just nabbed it, as like he's some kind of thief or something, given the fact that I saw him as the enemy the first time. Wait, Ash, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Indeed we shall, in a great Pokemon battle, which I still love the music to this game, oh my god, wow, even though it's 8-bit, it sounds... God damn awesome, as it makes you pumped, ready to fight some Pokemon, you know what I'm saying? Or at least to train as Pokemon, anyway. <laughs> oh boy, so, let's see, what ones have we got? We got Scratch and Growl. Growl, I believe, even though it's not an attack and that, it can cause, like, different stats and things like that, where, you know, sometimes, like, it can uh, lower your opponent's defense and stuff like that. You basically have strategy when it comes to those type of moves. But honestly, I don't really tend to use Growl 
that much at all, really. Most of the time, I just love going for the main attacks. Unless it's something like, you know, focus energy, where it basically uppers the critical hit ratio. So that way it makes it a lot more easier for you and stuff like that, but it's just, I don't know, like... When it comes to stuff like this, I just love using the same move over and over again. Except, good lord, <laughs> he's getting a lot of critical hits on this, isn't he? All I have is scratch. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm actually going to win this or not. Goodness me, that is a really, really powerful tackle right there. But you know what? I win, so whatever. I also find it funny how, <laughs> due to the beeping noise, it cuts out some of the noises. I don't know, I just find it funny. See, look, listen. <laughs> like, you can't hear half the instruments because of it. That's one charm I have for the Game Boy. If there was more than one bit of sound, that's it. All the other instruments were cut off because it was just too much for it to handle. I don't know why, I just always liked that. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. Nah, you didn't. You just started with one, you gotta level it up, haven't you? Plus, I guess I just got lucky, really. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Gramps, smell you later. Smell you later. Oh my god, I don't actually hear anybody say that anymore. Another funny thing, actually, is in yellow version, this strange noise occurs when he um, walks out and Pikachu pops out, but I don't know why, but this is quite morbid. As a kid, I just thought he walked out and broke his leg. Because <laughs> it makes such a weird noise. Like, I thought, what? And then suddenly this massive Pikachu pops out, and I'm like, wait, what? What is that? What do you have to say about blooming your grandson, though? Ash, raise your young Pokemon by making it fight. Well, oh, wait, really? So you, so you didn't even, like, friggin' pay attention to, like, the fight or anything? You just, like... Yeah, make sure you raise the Pokemon. <laughs> like, there's no reaction or something. Like, wow, you beat him for the first time. You're gonna make a good career, Ash. You know, you're gonna be the champion of, like, the world. Stuff like that. No, it's blimmin'. <laughs> Instead, make sure you raise them Pokemon. <laughs> oh, boy, though. Anyway, I don't think I can get Pokeballs just yet, though, can I? Oh, man, this theme. Oh, boy, this also brings back childhood memories as well. But I'm just going to talk to some people, as talking to NPCs in this game actually helps you out a lot. Some of them can give you tips and give you items and stuff like that. Pretty much like any usual JRPG. Hi, I work at a Pokemon. It's a convenience shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. Or is it Viridian? I, I, I mean, oh, I'm terrible at pronunciations. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Ash got potions. See, there you go, there's my example just right there, see? You talk to somebody and it gives you a potion. Only people were like that in reality. Now that would be so much better. Also, I think I forgot to um heal my Pokemon, didn't I? Oh wait, no, I didn't. Okay, cool. So he <laughs> he heals by himself. That's a relief then. I could run, as sometimes you can do that, you know. But sometimes you can't, depending on where you are. Like I've noticed, if you're in a cave, like you choose to run, but it says can't escape, and therefore you know you have to keep doing it and trying to escape and stuff like that. Also, what is it with things getting critical hits recently? Even a freaking Rattata out in the wild and that gets a critical hit. But I haven't got one yet so far. Oh boy, never mind. Still though. I also like the little details and stuff like that. Now, I know this is Game Boy and of course the graphics aren't as good nowadays, but whenever I play a game like this, I like to picture myself playing it when this game came out, you know, like, this came out in 1996, and that is the time I am playing this, that is the perspective I am seeing it from, you know, something like that, anyway. I'm just gonna see, though, if after this one, do I actually, can I level him up after this? Is it gonna be a critical hit? Nope, it isn't, that makes a blimmin' change, because <laughs> that was just getting annoying after a while, but still, oh boy, though. There's a lot to talk about with Pokemon, though, because it's, it's just a it's a really good game to play if you were a kid, you know, because this is like this your this is most likely most people's first JRPG, you know what I'm saying? With elements like that to where you got used to it and things. And I used to play as a lot of my friends. It's, I never really had a link cable, so I couldn't really play multiplayer or trade Pokemon with them or anything like that. But we just used to look at each other's on our systems like, oh wow, that's really cool, you got them up to that level and things like that. Remember, it was a, it was a big thing in primary school. That's for sure. Oh boy. It was more um, the one that really got me stuck into Pokemon like as a whole though. Even though I did play this and I loved it, it was mainly the second gen, I think it was, which was basically Silver, 
um, gold and crystal, because I grew up with silver and crystal, and oh my god, wow. What a big leap compared to the first one with, like, the content going on and things like that. Goodness me. Because silver and crystal and gold are really, really good versions of Pokemon and stuff like that. Also, I believe that's Nurse Joy, I think? To be honest, I'm not sure, because, I mean, I haven't seen Pokemon anime in quite a while. But I do remember watching it, and it was really cool. Especially since when I played Diamond and Pearl on the DS as a kid, um, was it seeing an anime of it like a couple of years later? It was really cool, because like every bit you do in the game was put in cartoon form. I just liked that. And sure, I know there was Pokemon Gotta Catch Them All, which was this game had its own anime, but that wasn't one that I grew up with, you know, at the time of release. In fact, to be honest, I rarely saw any of those episodes at all, to be honest. It wasn't until the Diamond and Pearl series where Dawn was introduced, where I actually watched it, um, coming up. Basically, you know, just keeping up with it and all that. And that one's given me tips for Poison Sting and stuff like that. I never really found Poison Sting useful, to be honest. It's, sometimes I can poison them, sometimes I can't. It just depends, really. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. Indeed I did. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't even say yes or no to that one, but whatever, fine. Can I at least buy something? No, potions are all sold out. Uh, that's a real shame. This shop sells many antidotes. I see. Yeah, can I? Uh, really? I'm, I'm, I'm a customer, I just walk in, and then you give me a parcel, and I have to go all the way back to give them the parcel, even though I didn't say yes or no agreeing to it. I just wanted to come in and buy some Pokeballs. And now I have to venture all the way back to deliver this parcel, really. As I noticed, you have to deliver two parcels in, um, Pokemon Ruby, I believe, anyway. Also, yeah, I was gonna say, I was thinking, surely there's another log to jump by. I remember that also being pretty cool as well, like, even though I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna have to walk through the grass and encounter those strange creatures, as I called them in the day. <laughs> but then I realised, oh, you can jump over the logs, so you know what, that makes life a whole lot more easier. Okay, here's your stupid parcel. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Yeah, indeed, with that nice jingle right there. Ah, uh, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you! Wait, really? Gramps? Okay, what the hell does Gary want now? Oh, alright, fair enough. <laughs> I thought the music was going to trigger like a battle then. What did you call me for? Oh right, I have a request of you two. What's that? On the desk, there is my invention, Pokedex. Oh yeah, I remember this. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. <laughs> Ash and Gary, take these with you. Ash got Pokedex from Oak, sweet. Yeah, I remember that. Pokedex was pretty cool as well, just realizing what ones I've caught and what ones I need to collect and where to find them and stuff like that. Just childhood memories, man. Childhood memories, well. Wow. To make a complete guide on all the Pokémon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it. I can't stop chasing your dream, depending on whatever age you are. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Okay, yeah, cool. That's actually a better option. <laughs> Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokémon history. All right, Gramps. Leave it all to me. I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Ash. <laughs> oh, well, we're gonna get on fine, aren't we? Well, I suppose we are rivals, so we're not supposed to, are we? <laughs> but still, never mind. But you know what? Fine. I'm gonna go back to my mum and ask um, if she has, like, a, a, a town map at all. Because uh, I think that's... Is that how you get one? I'm not sure. Ash, you should take a quick rest. Uh, okay. <laughs> like I say, I don't even agree with anything. I'm just like, yeah, 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 okay, cool. Oh, good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Indeed we shall. But, yeah, I reckon I'm going to call it off here, because this is freaking Pokemon Red and Blue, and I'm not going to be playing this for half an hour, because it's a Game Boy game. It's supposed to be short and accessible, isn't it? So, you know what? I'm going to call this off here. So, I hope you guys like this style of content because this is what I'm gonna do if you tell me stuff like you need to do stuff like say Chugga Conroy 
who basically does Pokemon BIOS, where he scans the Pokemon, tells you all about its features and stuff. That's that's not how I go. I'm just a chilled gamer who likes to say whatever on his whatever's on his mind, and you know, just talk about the past and how this good this game was. It's sort of a retrospective, if you will. At least this is my style of commentary, anyway. If it was entertaining, then good. I could make a full LP out of this. If it's not, then I guess not. <laughs> but still, just let me know if you like it or hate it down in the comments below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's all I can say. Is it was it was fun. It was fun.